Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to download a program called LibreOffice which is a Microsoft Office um, equivalent like OpenOffice but it's you know different than OpenOffice so if for some reason um, OpenOffice doesn't really work the way you want there's another alternative totally free and it's called LibreOffice so all you have to do is go to the libreoffice.org website, as you see here on the top, and you'll see that big green download now. If you don't see it, click on the download on the up, uh, upper side of your screen here, uh, right in the middle, and uh, you will be able to download uh, LibreOffice. So download version 4.3.4, you just click there, uh, they will ask you for a donation if you want, but you can just skip this and you know, you'll see that it's downloading automatically the 215 megabyte file on your computer. Um, of course, if you ever, ever find that LibreOffice is a great piece of software, why not make a donation? That could be very nice. So uh, LibreOffice is one of those alternative office uh, type um, program and it is compatible with most uh, documents that will be made with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. It's really like, you know, open office. Uh, but keep in mind that these free alternatives, although they are really good if you're looking for uh, word processors and stuff like that um, aren't a hundred percent compatible with the real format of Microsoft Office documents which means that sometimes on documents that have a lot of formatting um, you know use of macros and all sorts of things like that it might actually be um, a problem to use Microsoft Office documents uh, but it depends, you know, on the complexity of documents. So once it's downloaded, you just click your LibreOffice file that's downloaded. If you don't see it, it's probably in the download uh, folder of your computer. So find your download folder with the file explorer on your computer and install it on your computer. So here it's uh, downloading in French because it sees that I'm a French computer. If you uh, are in uh, English, you will see that you'll have the English version of the LibreOffice. Uh, as of December 2014, the uh, version is 4.3.4.1, as you see here. And of course, there's constant updates on the LibreOffice. So um, it's a big install and it's a big download, so make sure that you, uh, you know, take the time to download it, especially if you have a slow or limited internet connection. It might take a little time uh, to download 215 megabytes. Uh, here it was pretty fast. Uh, I have a, a very fast internet connection here. So you uh, leave it installing itself. You can close the uh, browser window as it's installing. And... Uh, As you see, it's a pretty automatic install, a little bit like OpenOffice. Um, as for the size compared to OpenOffice, it's uh, pretty much in the same size. OpenOffice, I think, is something like 180 megabytes. So, you know, the, uh, these are pretty big uh, office suits, but, you know, they have many software and they're very, very good and complex pieces of software. So that's why they're quite big. Um, Download and install goes pretty fast on most machines. As you see here, this is a typical install. Yours can be faster uh, or slower depending on your machine. If you uh, came across this website, uh, but you don't have Windows 8, uh, keep in mind that LibreOffice works on Windows XP, Vista 7 and 8. So uh, it works on pretty much every version of uh, Windows that exists out there right now. And the file that you download is an MSI, which is a Microsoft installer file. Um, 
for those and when those XP that are looking for a good, you know, office suit and you know you're getting really really limited because in uh, my in windows xp actually you cannot have the latest microsoft office suit uh, as it doesn't install on um, xp so you can uh, use either this one LibreOffice, or use open office both of them work well and are very good uh, office suits uh, which have like i said equivalents of uh, you know microsoft word for the uh, word processing uh, there's an equivalent for excel which is uh, uh, very nice also uh, for spreadsheet there's a uh, an, you know an equivalent for powerpoint if you like to make presentations of all sorts and you know the co cool thing about this is they're totally free and uh, frankly for pretty much most people that use their computer don't really need to pay you know, with the 100 or 200, 150 bucks required for the real Microsoft Office. You know, obviously I work with my computer, so I have the real Microsoft Office, which um, I have, of course, paid through the uh, yearly $99 fee, which gives me up to five computers for my Microsoft Office. But, you know, I am, of course, a business here. Um, so that's why I need such an, uh, you know, an office suit. But uh, frankly, for pretty much everybody, OpenOffice or LibreOffice are really good alternatives that work very well. And once it's installed, as you see here, you get this little icon here that says LibreOffice that you can click. And here you choose what you want to do on the left side. So you have Writer Documents, Calc Spreadsheet, Impress Presentation, Draw Drawing, there's Math Formula, and their Base Database, which Base Database is the equivalent of Access in Microsoft Office. So if you want to do a word processor, you just click Writer Documents, and you have a great, great piece of software that works very well. So for example, if you want to open uh, a Word document. I don't know if I have any Word documents. Yep, I've got here uh, maybe something here that I can open. Let's just check what type of document I might have. Uh, here we have uh, Frequency09 Word document. Let's try it out here. Open, which is a frequency list. Uh, the main problem I would say, oh, this is okay. The main problem I would probably say about so it works pretty well as you see here uh, the main problem about open office and libre office and this is something that can be annoying on certain um, computers they have a tendency to take a lot of time to open very large documents um, you know in microsoft word when you open a let's say a 200 page word document it's pretty much in instantaneous why? Because it can open the first pages as it's still loading the rest of the document. So that makes it really fast. But OpenOffice and LibreOffice has, have this flaw, that when you have a, for example, 200-page document, it actually needs to load the 200 pages before you ever get access to your documents. So be warned, for very large documents, it can be annoying because it can take up to you know a minute or two before your document actually shows up so you get you know pretty much the equivalent of uh, Microsoft Office stuff but of course through a you know regular free office suit so here's the uh, you know what looks pretty much like Excel actually uh, the only thing is that the menus on the top look more like the older versions, uh, you know, say Office 2003. But they work really well and they open pretty much everything that you need to open on the uh, Microsoft Word. So, for example, just to give you an idea, if I open, uh, let's say here that I open um, a PowerPoint, okay, I'll open PowerPoint. I'll open my PowerPoint 2013 here. Let's just check for PowerPoint, PowerPoint 2013. 
And now that I opened PowerPoint, let's just say that I um, As you see here, it's not the default anymore. So I'll do a blank one. Um, so here, we've got a blank one. Um, I'll just, you know, put a test in the middle. Let's say that I uh, want to, uh, um, you know, format text effects or stuff. And, you know, everything that you want, you know, shadows. Uh, here we go. We uh, will, you know, shape fill. There we go. So it's a very, you know, basic thing. But if I save as on my computer, on the desktop, test PowerPoint, and save it, which is the latest version of PowerPoint. And um, just save here. And want to open it with LibreOffice. Here we go. go. I'm going to go to Impress. I'm going to File. I'm going to Open. And we're going to put on the desktop. Let's see my file, my PowerPoint file, which is Test PowerPoint. Here we are. Test PowerPoint. Open. And here it goes. And it looks like it was on the other one. So you see that it's compatible even with the latest, you know, Office documents. So if you um, have an older Office document, for example, maybe you have a, you know, uh, Office 2007, and you're wondering how do I, you know, open um, Office 2013 documents that aren't compatible? Well, instead of you know investing, you can actually buy or download actually the free version like LibreOffice or OpenOffice, and it works really well. So that's pretty much how you download and install LibreOffice. And um, I added a little test to show you that it can open the real Office documents here. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to your channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And uh, hopefully you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.